So I have lived with Elle for a long time. And, uh, I have known about the the evacuation itself from when it happened in 1990. Well, you knew that people were being evacuated and this happened in Kuwait. I didn't pay much heed to it. You know, we paid only heed to the tragedy of the, the situation. To be able to take a subject that nobody ever would ever think about taking and and make an in very very uh, highly entertaining a film that connects. What is it that makes this story compelling? It's not 488 flights. It's not 170,000 people. It's the spirit. It's finding that, that, that element inside you that makes you belong to something. There's so many stories like this which are still like untold, unsung heroes. So I think Airlift is a very essential film for every Indian to especially to watch it, what people have done uh, for their country. It's not been made like a traditional Hindi film. The narrative is not such. The acting is not such. Nothing fits into the old mold. Cut. That gave me the conviction to not just back the film or come on board as a producer when Nikhil Advani and his company first shared the idea with us, but also to ensure that it gets scaled up, produced and promoted in the manner that it deserves. Very good. Play back. See, initially, yes. Uh, you know, when uh, uh, when I heard the script, I was already doing baby with uh, Vikram and Akshay and every, everybody. And uh, this film was pitched to me that time only. And uh, though many people in the industry also was telling me, it's a documentary kind of film, and the uh, subject is very, very, very uh, uncommercial. But me and my entire team uh, were very, very convinced about it. That no, real cinema. We should definitely uh, try and do it. Elle a lot of all the way. By now, I had started uh, uh, researching, and I had found Mr. Sunny Matthews, and I had found these stories about what he had done and, and there are a couple, few others and the evacuation, I read these uh, articles which the, some of the bureaucrats were there and written. And so I started getting this idea of what were the actions that had happened. Uh, at this point I realized that you know that's all very well but the biggest story for me was still not being told. The story of finding the kind of element that, that, that makes you belong to something. What makes me Indian? I said, okay, let me try to work around this one guy and build a story which is uh, fictional um, of a person who has forgotten his identity. The actions that he takes place are actually a reflection of the man going through a journey of change. They're changing the way he thinks, they're changing his mindset. That's the story of Elder, right? Ideally, you're telling a story in a short time. It's better to get a character who looks like the character you want. If I'm a powerful businessman, who's an early guy, who's flamboyant, uh, who loses his, his mojo because suddenly one day his, his, the carpet is pulled under, from under him, and then becomes a leader of men. In the business today, that's one guy, Akshay Kumar. I think the first day when I shot in the house, it was the, I had gone in some different, in that character of Ranjit Katyal. Action! No, 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 Come here, come in, jump! Yeah! Cut! Reji! It is only the um, first uh, few shots, which is a little bit dicey. Then after that, you, you catch a character and then you start thinking that you are that character. Puri ki puri royal family ja chuki hai. Ek bhi government official idhar hai nahi. Practically bina government ke hum log baithe hue hain. Aur tum ho ki. You know there were days when I would have these out of body moments, just standing in front of him and like I'm talking to Mr. Akshay Kumar and he's my husband and he's responding <laughs> and we are having a we're in a scene and 
you know there were those moments the biggest advantages was that he was so amenable so flexible that you know every time you told him that you know you have to shoot in these conditions or you have to shoot here you'd get up in the middle of the night the only thing he would turn around and say ye mera kaam hai batao mujhe kya karna hai for 99% of the film akshay kumar is there in every scene of the film so so to be able to sit back and say ki you know you guys i i leave it to you guys do everything else the way with and i am going to be concentrating and making sure that akshay kumar is not seeing but rajit katyal is i think he is completely surprised uh, surprised at you i would say a lot of things came from my director's side because he has lived with this subject since last 3 to 4 years uh we spent a lot of hours just discussing the character trying to figure out who this person is right and then he found that rajit katyal right it's not like uh, you know i went and told him what to do but i think in our conversations we managed to arrive at who this person is and he bought into that it takes courage and vision you know to uh, pick up a subject like this <clears throat> especially at a time that he's in uh i feel like it's it's a it's a it's a very inspiring decision uh coming from someone like him and it's a huge risk you know as an actor and as a producer um and i really applaud him um as an audience member you know for making these choices because by virtue of him attaching himself to this kind of a film so many more people would you know rush to the theaters to watch this film uh, whether it was working in tough conditions in airlift whether it was bringing such a difficult story to life whether it was marketing the film aggressively so that the message of the film reaches way more the size of an audience than it's intended to be akshay led from the front Russell Khema mm-hmm. Russell Khema is uh, about an hour and a half maybe hour and 15 minutes out of Dubai uh it was uh, I think it was made for us to shoot this film mm-hmm. Russell Khema is a place that doesn't have oil it's basically it's a tourist economy so it, it, the, the the city itself is still kind of uh, single layered which is very important to me because I'm going to but it had Three or four big buildings here and there, which is very much what we had. And uh, we went there uh, the, the technical crew, so there was Priya, Priya Mustafa, Viral, me, uh, and there. And in four days, we locked every single location for the entire film. We could shoot the entire film there. The place lends to the 90s very naturally, you know. I mean, the roads, mm-hmm. the signage. Um, just the vibe there it's not amazingly globalized you know yet i mean we don't see uh, such a huge sign of modernization there you know which was really good uh from a production design point of view we realized that you know shooting here would mean a humongous saving and and try to recreate because for instance uh a lot of the vehicles we found there were for the eighties still um uh, the buildings were looked right the colors were right we figured that including even you know some of the like the details we were going to is like the shops had the the kind of neon signages they had was from the early 90s and 90s right so we said you know what i think this is great you know we can find this place and then to add to it is much easier basically uh, airlift i'm doing this film because it's it's a subject which is you know uh, my family was in kuwait when this happened Well, uh, we are in a part of uh, Russell Kema called the Kuwaiti Street. It's been the main market of this area from back in the 80s. So what we've done is we've broken down the classes of some cars, we've jacked some vehicles up, put them on rocks. Then we put up this board over here. We put up the national board there, and then the Casio board out there. These were popular brands then, so you know. Ravi, all safety, ah, first safety first. It's amazing how they have created that, you know, that era uh, of rioting and uh, shootings and stuff. And it's amazing. It's it's very nice, uh, you know, to see so much of detailing in Bollywood movies because it's time now. Ravi, तुम्हें front में गाड़ी के front में बैठना पड़ेगा अभी क्या है इधर है? 
came here this morning and almost felt like throwing up. They've created such a interesting, realistic set. Hats off to Art Direction, Mustafa and his team have done a super job. When uh, Ranjit Katyal leaves the uh, embassy and he's driving, trying to get back home, uh, and uh, you know he gets stuck in this uh, traffic jam and a checkpoint, and he's going through, and you see the war for the first time up close. And we said, you know what? How are we going to show this war? What are we going to do with the action sequences? We, we decided that we're going to do long choreographed action sequences, set pieces that are long, not too many cuts, because the moment you put six cuts, it becomes unbelievable. So I can do this low angle and high angle and wide angle and do all this stuff, but it becomes unreal. So reality is about grabs. The thought was to do two things. One was to be the claustrophobia of his car and see the world from his perspective and see what the hell is going on around me, and, but we wanted it to be big. Then Priya said, okay, you know, what if I kind of sit inside the car, let the action play out outside and I will follow this action through it. Yeah, but it's going to be handheld. How are you going to manage a handheld shot? It's going to be jumpy. You know, how do you hold somebody's attention for this long? Uh, and uh, she said, you know, I'll come up with, let me see, let me think, let me think, let me think. She, she was thinking about it. The problem I had with the whole sequence was that a car driving through a street would be at speed. At a certain speed, it was 30 kilometers an hour. And if it happened at 30 kilometers an hour, you're not going to see anything. And I wanted to feel it. I wanted to see those characters. I wanted to see the soldiers' faces. And the night before the shoot, you know, I had this thing and I said, man, what if it's a blockade? And I said, you know what, we need to slow this whole thing down. This is the only way to do it. Let's slow it down. Let it be a blockade where people are checking papers. So he's going through really slowly. And you put the pressure in, so he's there, he doesn't know when these guys are going to do something to him and he's travelling through it. And I called Priya and I said, hey, you know what, this is what we should do. And she said, that's bang on. And I said, but the problem is still, if it's even slower, you know, this idea of this handle was troubling me and troubling her more than anything else. I land up on the set, <laughs> you know, she's pulled out this mechanism with the grip and they pulled out the head of the, the jib head. And they managed to mount it on the seat and they've got a 360 motion movement completely smooth and I said, man, this is just magic, right? One, two, three! Ah, oh. Abhi, keep it straight. Keep it straight. Oh. All the vehicles are going to be damaged, burned, broken into pieces. But that's what makes the movie more interesting. सबके पास वाइज है ना मेरे को शॉट में मत भाग मैं एक शॉट होना चाहिए पूरा विदाउट रनिंग वी बर्न कार्स वी बर्न बिल्डिंग्स वी बर्न एवरीथिंग नाउ आई फील आई एम शूटिंग अ फकिंग वॉर फिल्म हां नो टेल यू वी डोंट वांट एंड एक्चुअली लुक एट इट सेड मैन यू नो सो तू कुछ यू गोइंग टू टेक एनी कट्स आई सेड नो and he said, you're going to do an action sequence with no cuts. I said, that's the idea. And he said, you know, God knows what you guys are doing, but I trust you guys, go with it. Uh, and that's how the sequence happened. One by two. Come. Action!
Mr. Making Master. How are you doing, sir? Good, sir. I have told you that you camp camp, so you have to do Oh. How do you continue to create uh, the, 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 the environment of fear? You know, the, the, the craziness of what's going on. Apne apne saab se sabki life chal rahi hai. Koi baal bana raha hai, koi taash khel raha hai, garmi ho rahi hai, banyan mein hai log, lungi mein hai, theek hai? As we were thinking about it, the initial sequence was a sequence where soldiers come in and they're full of power and they jump down and they take over the place. You know, people are being pushed around and. Yeah, yeah. They bring them all into a into a central area, uh, and and then they take the food away. Um, and this troubled me a lot. It didn't feel right. There was something wrong about it. I'm not sure what it was. And it felt like that. suddenly, and uh, you know, it suddenly struck me that you know what what was wrong with it is the urgency. He said, Why would they need urgency? They own the place. They think they already own it. They're going to walk in like they own it. But the fear of people in control as against people trying to take control. So it's a philosophical decision. यहाँ से आएंगे आप इस तरह भागोगे वो आ जाएंगे वो आप भी उस तरह भागोगे समझ नहीं आएगा भाग जाए बच्चे की पर प्लीज ध्यान से करना ये पिक्चर है असली असली नहीं है ठीक है तो चोट वोट नहीं लगनी चाहिए किसी को ठीक है ध्यान से The guy walks down, walks through saying, this is mine. You guys are sitting in my place. And the entire environment of it changed. So I think the visual, in terms of camera movements in this, I was very, very clear that the camera moves are not going to be gratuitous. We're not just generally going to be wagging the camera because it's a war film and suddenly everything is handled. So the camera moves always originated from what we were trying to do for that scene. And of course, I had a graph in terms of what I was trying to do. What a lovely reaction. The walk is nice. Lovely, exactly. This is what we need. Thank you. Oh fuck, it's mine. So we took very conscious decisions on the speed we were shooting in. We didn't shoot because action, therefore we didn't shoot because action. You know, we shot it because it was true to the shot. It was true to the scene. And that slowing down for me was a huge decision. See, we are Indians. We are Indians, we have the permission. We have the permission. We have the permission. Well, the director is a great director when it comes to visualizing a scene. Uh, if given a proper script, he can never go wrong. Action! This man uh, was so clear in his head with what he wanted to achieve. To carry that weight on your shoulder and pull it off, I think he deserves full credit for it. Okay, nice. Raja is an exceptional talent. His eye for detail, his passion for his story, his ability to play as a team. He didn't budge for a second. He was very, very clear and to take that pressure, but he never let that show to us because if that pressure transferred downwards, it would start rattling everybody along. You know, one could reach out to him any time, any number of times about the same thing sometimes. The best thing I liked about Raja Menon was that he was 
very very true to the script and he didn't got corrupted and he made a very real uh, film for which we all are proud of today Get it! Get it!